The other thing that I remember when I moved to Germany, just the first, really the first uh, impression of Germany was that going into the shop, everything was there, the supermarkets. You know, you go to the supermarkets didn't exist even in Russia at that time. What is a supermarket? Like there was maybe something similar, but it was much smaller and half of the stuff was not there anyway, not available. And going into the shop where the bananas just hanging there, and no one is queuing up to get them or, you know, they're just there. Want to get them. Uh, the fruits, the vegetables that we never had during winter, there's like all year round there were fruits and vegetables available. Um, my, the cheeses, like so many types of cheeses and meat and fish and everything. And that was like a different world. So I remember that and so, yeah. It was crazy, crazy experience. <laughs> and I was at 16, that's the first time I seen a banana. So a lot of people asked me, how did we end up in Kazakhstan? How my family, me, I was born there, but my family moved there um, after the Second World War. My grandparents didn't really choose to go there, but that was the only place available to go to. So in, in, in around 1760s, Catherine the Great was ruling. She allowed Germans to actually migrate to from Germany to Russia. So that's how my great, 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 great parents um, ended up there in Russia. And that was all along the river Volga. Another interesting thing is that they were all speaking Germans. It was allowed to do that. It was allowed to actually be German in Russia and also have schools, uh, German schools, German factories or whatever it is, whatever they wanted to build. So they were all speaking German and that was okay. So that was from 1760s around um, up until uh, the Second World War in 1941. That was when the war started with Russia. That all changed. So what happened was because Germans, it was the war was with Germany, and the Germans were living in Russia. Germans, Germany, and Russia had uh, having the war, and the Germans in Russia became enemies as well because they were Germans. So they were forced to uh, leave the, the the houses and the land and everything what they had. Everything was taken away from them and they were transported to Siberia so without anything. So they were just to, basically to, um, to work there and to die. Right, free work force, <laughs> and then die, die there. So a lot, of, a lot of them died as well, like probably half, or even more than half of the population died there, German population. My grand, grandmother, She's not with us anymore, but she was telling us stories all the time, and I really loved listening to her. 